Albert, what do you know about Sir, Said, Ahmad, Khan? Sir Sid, Khan was born October 17, 1817, and was commonly known as, Sir Sid. He was born into Muslim nobility and earned a reputation as a distinguished scholar while working, as a jurist for the British India Company. Was he involved in the Indian Rebellion of 1857? Yes, and he remained loyal to the British and was noted for his actions in saving European lives. After the rebellion he penned the booklet, As Babi Bhagawati Hind. The Causes of the Indian Mutiny, a daring critique, at the time, of British policies that he blamed for causing the revolt. I heard Sir Said, founded the Mohammedan, Anglo-Oriental College in 1875 with the aim of promoting social and economic development of Indian Muslims. That is correct. Believing that the future of Muslims was being threatened by the rigidity of their orthodox outlook, Sir Sid began promoting Western-style scientific education, by founding modern schools and journals and organizing Muslim entrepreneurs. Can you tell me more about his involvement in politics? He was one of the most influential Muslim politicians of his time. Sir Sid was suspicious of the Indian independence movement and called upon Muslims to loyally serve the British, Raj. He denounced nationalist organizations such as the Indian National Congress, instead forming organizations to promote Muslim unity and pro-British attitudes and activities. I understand Sir Said promoted the adoption of Urdu as the language of all Indian Muslims, and mentored a rising generation of Muslim politicians and entrepreneurs. Correct. And prior to the Hindi Urdu controversy, he was interested in the education of Muslims and Hindus both. This was the period in which Sir Sid visualized India as a beautiful bride whose one eye was Hindu and the other Muslim. Due to this stance, Sir Sid was regarded as a reformer and nationalist leader. Wasn't there a sudden change in his policies after the Hindi Urdu controversy? Yes. His education and reformist policies became Muslim-specific and he fought the status of Urdu until his last breath. How is Sir Said viewed in India? He is commemorated as a pioneer who worked for the socio-political upliftment of Indian Muslims. He is also hailed as a founding father of Pakistan for his role in developing a Muslim political class independent of Hindu-majority organizations. The Sir Sid University of Engineering and Technology was established in honor of Sir Sid in Karachi, and is a leading technical institution in Pakistan. I understand Sir Sid lived the last two decades of his life in Aligarh, and served as a mentor to 19th and 20th century Muslim entrepreneurs and politicians, and remain one of the most influential Muslim politicians in India. That is correct. During his last days he battled illness and old age, Sir Sid died on March 27, 1898 and was buried beside Sir Sid Masjid, inside the campus of the Aligarh University. Yes, and his funeral was attended by thousands of students, Muslim leaders and British officials. Sir Sid is widely commemorated across South Asia as a great Muslim reformer and visionary.